Welcome to Midweek Service provided by the Church Sound Podcast. This is our version of Tech News with your host, Prentice Thompson. Have you ever wondered, how do I mic a drum set or what about getting audio to my live stream? We're here for you. This is Tech News, new product reviews, and everything you need to know about what you need to know. Welcome to Midweek Service. Good day, good people, and welcome to another edition of the Church Sound Podcast Midweek Service. This is Tech News. This is product reviews and training, audio and visual for audio visual ministries, and we're here to serve you, give you little tidbits of information that's going to help your church. So today, we're going to talk about something that um, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with. It kind of sounds like this. Yeah. I, I know. You've either witnessed this, experienced it, or had to deal with it in some sort of way. It's called feedback. It's the thing that your pastor, everyone, or, or the church looks back and goes, what's wrong with the sound guy? Can, can you fix that? It's called feedback. What? is feedback. Here's the Prentice Thompson definition. Feedback. Feedback happens when the output of your sound system is in the output of your sound system is feedback into the sound system. It's, it's called how or ringing out your system. It happens when your microphones are hearing the output of a speaker and the microphone then loops back into the sound system and amplifies it again. So certain frequencies are situated at an exponential rate. So you get screeching, you get you get um a squeals and howls and which will just screw up your whole <laughs> service. So there are a couple of tools out there that can help you with that. First thing, they have like frequency eliminators, and that will search out the frequencies. Um, there are hardware ones, and then there are software. So let's look at the software. I'm gonna show you that real quick. How it's interacting in the room is going to create this stuff that's gonna to wanna to start to ring. And so the plugin, when I hit setup, is going to listen to that and add some filters and some gain reduction at those frequencies to eliminate the feedback. So okay. it's gonna ring out the mic on its own. Right. So let's bring up the fader. That was crazy loud in the room. And it got it quick. And it though. got it quick. So now if I bring the fader up in the room, I mean, it's pretty manageable as a starting point pretty cool right so what if you don't have that well the best thing you need to know you need to know what mics you have and why why it would cause feedback so if you're if you're having feedback first thing you need to do is what i always say is move the mic away from the speaker if your microphone is pointing towards the speaker kind of like this it's looping back and back and back and back and back and back. You're gonna get you're gonna get feedback. So to avoid it, if you can't fix it real quick, tell your person move the mic. That's the best thing. The second thing is you need to know the type of polar pattern. And if you if you're not sure what polar patterns are, I believe I covered it in a couple of episodes back. So go take a look at that. I'll take a listen to that. And the polar patterns re reject sound at different uh, at different diameters. Meaning. A cardioid microphone will reject microphone re reject sound from the rear. A supercardioid or a hypercardioid is better rejecting sound from the sides. So what does that mean? So if I have a monitor, I have a cardioid microphone, and I have to I have a I have a stage wedge directly in front of the microphone, kind of like this, where my hand is. It's really great because it's no sound. It's, it's rejecting sound from the from the rear of the mic. Supercardioid mic. You want to put it on the sides because it's going to be a rear node 
on the super cardio or the hyper cardio. So that's really good, good for someone singing at a piano and everything. So what is the best way to do it if you don't have that? There are plenty of apps. Look at this. See that? There you go. See that? You see the frequencies jumping up and down? That is actually my voice. Now watch this. See that frequency? Watch this. How do you use that? I'm glad you asked. Glad you guys got a lot of questions to that. So, when you have frequency in your room, you pull out the app. And you find the frequency that's howling because it's gonna it's gonna be you're gonna see it. And basically, if you have a digital console, or if you have an analog console, and you have a graphic EQ, what you're gonna do is go to that EQ and notch out the sound. Kind of like this. Look at this illustration real quick. Hardly anything, but this one, chap, that's a live one. Chap, 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 that's another live one. I'm going to take these two frequencies down, maybe about five decibels. Check, check. That's 1.25 and 1.6 kilohertz. And now it's stop feeding back. Just like that. So you would notch it out and remove it. Now, you really want to do this before service. Um, anytime I mix anywhere, even in my home church, even, if I, even though I, I did this last Sunday, I'm going to come in, I'm going to heal the room, and I'm going to tweak the room, I'm going to EQ the room. And normally, in a digital console, which is great, you can have presets, and that's what I normally do, but I go test everything. And then I go to the stage, and I see if I can get, I can create feedback on the stage, and I notch out those frequencies. So this way, when service starts, you don't have those problems. So I hope this has been helpful. I really do. Feedback is horrible. Hey, listen, check this out every Thursday. If you like what we're doing, review us on any platform that you're listening to us on, whether it's iTunes, I mean, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, um, Stitcher, Deezer, iHeartRadio, Audible, Amazon, any of those places, please write a review for us. It helps us out. Secondly, subscribe to the YouTube channel and to the podcast for download. So, this is Prentice Thompson, Midweek Service. Hey, I'm going to tell you like I always say, see you in the Matrix. See you in the Matrix.